Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, we're back out on the club campaign on the back lake. However, we're on the opposite side this time. I think we're on peg six. We're normally on like 16. Um, and we've been here, we've been here a few hours now. It was a little bit hectic. Nick got his rods out um, by the lilies and he had one. And he had one almost instantly. Let's say within an hour. Uh, so yeah, so we did a bit of filming of that. I then got my rods out, we set up camp and just had a quick brew and now here I am. So yeah, I'll show you show you Nick's fish and uh, we'll carry on going. Don't worry about my lines. No, I might have to. I'll slack a mine right off. You reckon? Yeah. Is it hugging low? Staying low. I yeah. couldn't believe that. Mate, I thought that was weird, wasn't it? Yeah. Just pulled up and then, then it kited off, didn't it? Yeah. One little bleep. And then the, um, the indicator was just going up like very slightly, wasn't it? Yeah. That's the, uh, that's the yellow top of that. Is. The yellow topped one. Feels a little bit like a cat, this does. Oh no. No way, we've not even put bivvies up, man. And you're in. What a start, though, eh? Great start, mate. Let's try and get her in, innit? And he was right, it was a catfish. This is PB catfish, though. Oh, my God, there's a spider there. <laughs> Don't worry about the spider, mate. Look at that big catfish. Yeah, got it. Nice. Did you drop the lead? No, I didn't drop the lead. Still got the rig, still got the lead. Everything. I'll have to change the rig to be fair. Or the slime. <laughs> That's horrible. Huh? Man. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you'll be able to wipe it off. Do you reckon? Yeah. Right, let's have a look at Actually, yeah, it's quite a lot bigger, isn't it? We'll see. Whoa. So uh, the rods have been in for just under an hour now. Uh, this 11 pound, two ounce cat was the first, first one to bite the dust uh, just under an hour, which is an absolutely great result. Uh, caught on Illusion D about 10 inches again, uh, like I do before with a krill wafter, but this time with a yellow pop-up uh, fake bit of corn. So it's like critically uh, balanced. Um, absolute great result. I don't mind catching these these cats from here. Um, they they uh, do a really good fight, to be fair. Um, and it was a bit of a weird bite to start with. Um, only one little beep, and then the fish came really high in the water, didn't it? And um, we didn't think there was a bite, so I struck into it anyway. And yeah, this cat was uh, was on the end of it, which was great. Nick's into his second fish. Again, really, really um, finicky bite, would you say? Yeah. yeah it just. Really, really finicky. It's like, well, that one seemed like it started coming towards up because I was coming towards me. So I was reeling, reeling into it. Uh, one bleep on the rod, the indicator went up, the line went tight, and then we looked down the line towards the, uh, towards the water. And it was like it came up in into the in the, to the surface again, didn't it? And then it just kited right ever so slightly. So I can't really tell what it is at the moment at this because it's quite far out. But it seems like the same as before. Could potentially could be another cat again. <laughs> but I don't mind. I'll take the cats all day long. You ready? Cool, so catfish number two, 17 8. Um, caught from the same spot, same rig, uh, same tactic. Uh, this this cat is literally just shit and krill all over the mat as well. So, uh, yeah, really, really happy to catch number two. So, I'll, I'll catch these all, all day long, to be fair. 
but as long as I get a calf eventually. But yeah, 17 and a half, really, really happy with that. As my rods lay motionless, Nick was off to a flying start, so I booked my ideas up and got stuck into one. Well, there you have it. First one off my spotting out in open water. Left hand rod, it's not done a single beep since we've been here. Rods have been out maybe three hours now, and it's just absolutely melted off. Pick up, then a massive drop back, struck into it, knocked the pod over, but yeah. Blessed to have been uh, graced by this, weighing in at 11 pound on the nose, was it? So yeah, that's yep. a PB, 11 pound on the nose. PB catfish, get in. So we've been, this is the second or third attempt at trying to cook. I had one before and now Nick's into another one. Same rod, right hand rod, exactly the same tactic. It's doing the business for him. I don't, I don't want to pull too tight. Nick decided to let this one go at the net and prepare for the night ahead by tying up some new rigs. Just thought I'd jump on and give you a quick update going into the night. It's about quarter to ten now. Uh, we've just been watching football. I've just had a bream and Nick's just putting his rod out because he's caught a carp. So yeah, once that rod's back out, we'll get it out, weigh it, we'll have a look at it. Um, if you don't hear us hear from us after that we'll assume that nothing's happened during the night and we'll probably see you in the morning but hopefully we get we get a few wake-up calls during the night and we've got some fish on the bank let's have a look at that one first carp of the night just uh just had a good well kind of a, a breamy kind of bite so it was like uh it, the the bobbing went off went back down big drop back uh, kept doing that for a couple of seconds so I thought well Kurt told me to strike into it so I did and uh, yeah the fish had come towards me and kited to the left hand side um, it didn't put up a, a massive fight until it got to the net uh, most of the carp in this lake um, don't really fight that far out but when they do get close to the net they do give it some uh, which is quite good um, same tactics as before illusion D 10 inches uh, but this time with a yellow uh, pop-up um, fake piece of corn. So that seems to be doing the, doing the business on, on this trip. Whereas last trip it was orange. I've still got the orange top right there now with the krill wafter. And that's been really quiet. Um, I mean, all of our fish have come on the krill, on, on, a, on a bottom bait or a wafter with, uh, with a yellow top, haven't they? So, um, yeah, really, really pleased with this. This went to... Uh, £14.10 and um, yeah absolutely over the moon really nice uh, mirror this is so absolutely buzzing One o'clock in the morning, this rod's been back out five minutes. Just landed 32.6, was it? 32.6. 32.6, PB cat. <whistles> Absolute beast. Let's get some stills. So like straight, yeah. That'll do. Mate, that's that's Next one. 
Well, what can we say? We've been having liners all night. Two bream, then rod back out half an hour later. This one, rod back out. 10 minutes later, that catfish that I've just showed you. Yeah, this one doesn't want to play a game. But yeah, this one weighs uh, 17, 14, was it? Yeah. Can't quite remember. I think it was 17. Yeah, it was. Probably the other side of it. Before we get it back. Yeah, 17, 14, beautiful mirror. Exactly the same tactics. Pacific tuna topped with fake sweet corn. It's caught every single fish so far during this session. What a session it's turned out to be. We've still got about 10 hours left. The night's still young. Let's get it back. Oh, that must be an angry male that. Good morning. Little morning update just before I put a brew on. Um, it's nearly eight o'clock. Had a bit of a lion. Nick's been up. He's had a brew in that. Caught a caught um a catfish. He's had a, he's had a bream. But yeah, through the night after that big catfish, I put my rods back out. Um and he had an almighty run, but he was absolutely chucking it down. And as I'd got out, put some shorts on, grabbed my coat, got to the rod, it, it, it um, stopped and then, yeah, kind of missed that one, which wasn't great, which has actually annoyed me, even though we've caught a carp, caught a couple of catfish, but yeah, that one's annoyed me. However, we've still got a few hours to go, so I'm still optimistic. Gonna have a brew now and uh, enjoy. Enjoy the rainless morning so far. Nick doing a bit of multitasking on the phone and playing what looks to me like a catfish. Again, a little bit of a weird bite. Pulled up tight and then the line just uh, risen in the water. So he struck into it whilst he was on the phone and he's been playing it for now, maybe, maybe 10 minutes. So yeah, pretty cool to be fair. But, um, I know that we're really keen. Seeing the session outright, celebrating with a Mackey's breakfast. <laughs> yeah, boy. Didn't expect it to go that well, to be fair, because um, we'd never fished that side of the lake. But yeah, it worked out quite well. Um, Nick probably won't be fishing for quite some time. Got a bit of stuff on with work. So it'll probably just be me next time you see me. Still early days in September. So fingers crossed we can get back out on the, on the bank and catch some more carp before this month's over.